Hello and welcome to another Chaos Evolved Horror Spectacular. We play games like this all the time where we get scared. And this one is called They Are Here, Alien Abduction Horror. It's available on Steam. It's going to be released in 2024. So if you're watching this video in 2024, it's probably out and you've got to pay for it. But right now, it's free because it's a prologue and a demo in one. And that's on Steam. I'm doing all the talking, but as usual, when we play a game like this, especially me, I've got Kate in my corner. Um, or am I in your corner? Yeah, I don't know if I'd say I'm in your corner. Well, for this game, maybe, because I'm driving. But I think I drive, but a rally driver is only as good as his navigator. True. So you're like my mm. navigator. Otherwise, I'll be slamming into trees and shit. You probably will anyway if there's actual driving, to be honest. I'm a good driver. Thank you very much. <laughs> Watch my latest episode of L.A. Noir. Well, plug. Yeah, so of course. Let's play the game. So I think because I asked you what a prologue is, and you said, no, no, it's a prologue. I was fucking around. Um, that's before the game. So I think we should play the prologue first, and then if we've got time, we'll play the demo. I'm not sure how long these are. But once again, it's Steam. And it's They Are Here, Alien Abduction Horror. The prologue tells the story of the first UFO contact that happened 30 years before the events shown in the demo version. The main character is Private Michael Anderson, who serves at a military base near Grayswood Farm. By chance, he becomes a witness of terrible inexplicable events you know I was reading it so fast and it'd been ninging because I thought to myself it's going to be one of those things that disappears and I won't make it to the end but then I saw the start button at the bottom and I thought Whew, I can slow down now so what is that thing that's some sort of uh, radar some sort of Doppler radar it's just sending out signals Air Force Base August 6 MN. It was 1979. You were like 10. Eight, actually. Oh, sorry, my bad. Is that a meteor? Is that a meteor? No, oh, it's a dot. Negative. I'll try to get in touch. Negative. You entering controlled airspace. Rage, 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 rage. Rage. All Aussies would get that joke. No answer. Switching to heat control. Some of them would. Did like you get they weren't born in nineteen sixty nine? Did you get that joke? Maybe. Ooh, Delta, what is this? Nice strong interference. Say again. Communication lost. I try radio on different frequency. Holy hell. Alpha calls data. Unidentified object begins pushing. Ten seconds. Alpha calls land. data? It says 10 seconds, but the subtitles say I.O. seconds. I think they're confusing the number one with the letter I. Roger. Sending response team. This is like a... Michael Anderson is two miles that movie? From landing site. With the media. Deep impact. Finn. That's it. That's the prologue, y'all. We did it. Thank you for watching. We'll uh, <laughs> see you on the next one. <laughs> Don't leave. Oh, now that's what I call a torch. Look how bright that is. Let's see if F turns it on off. Oh, F brings up my radio. What? This is base. The object has landed. Your task is to identify the object without contact. Omega team will arrive in one minute. We conduct surveillance from the air. Alright, so I can't jump. I can arrive. crouch. No. I can only run. Now my guess is uh I read you five by five, sir. Out. What? Oh I just was wondering what the dot being picked up was. Oh. How do I take a picture? You can take a picture? 
Well, this is a camera that I'm on, right? I'm recording. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. My bad, my bad. I feel like I'm following this radar correct, right? It's more than one option. Uh, straight ahead. I'm a bit skilled, you know. Probably pretty safe. Weird that we don't pick that up on radar, but what else? This is Omega. We see you. We are monitoring. Oh, good. I feel a lot more safe now. Light him up, 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 I'm on fire. Why can't we just can we like wipe the lens? It's annoying. I know. Just pull our sleeve down and just give it a little. Use our shirt. Like I don't care what we use. I'm just scared. It'll be fine. Call me another night. Um, look, look at the difference between walking and running. It's not a great difference. He's, not, he's going from a walk to a slow jog or a brisk walk, and he's so out of breath. Okay, I mean, not everybody's fucking Usain Bolt. Well, he's not really a distance guy either, to be honest. Oh, you judgmental bastard. No, Mager, this is my guy. a distance guy. report radiation detected. Can you hear that old Geiger counter going off? Roger that, we're all quiet here. I guess I'll walk a bit fast, huh? Bit of radiation with the old Geiger. 20 minutes stick to the path, it seems. I get that the chopper's watching after me, but you wouldn't know. When you've got a chopper watching after you, is it that loud all the time? Yeah. Like just constant in your ear. Well, no, they wouldn't be talking constantly. Barely hear from them. Do they keep yeah. a reasonable distance or do they usually hover pretty close to you? No, no, they usually are pretty high in the sky. Okay. Well, from my experience, I don't know about alien abductions and what the hell is going involved in that. Radiation levels are rising, over. But no, they wouldn't come down low unless they need to. It got worse. What are your thoughts on the voice acting on so hey, far in this? The guy that we are's voice is average. What do you mean average? She's not convincing me. He's very judgmental tonight. No, no, I'm just saying he's, he's not convincing me. This is the base. Omega, stay away from the object. Observe the object from a distance. Oh, I'm doing a Kate Bush running up that hill. Omega, fly away. <laughs> Michael Anderson, follow protocol. Oh, there is a blue light there. Oh, it's upside down. Oh! Fuck. Fuck. What the hell is going on? Well, I need to look. Can anyone hear me? Over. What was wrong with the Simpson? Can help, anyone help. answer? <laughs> Something's happening. Uh, we need help. We're under attack. Over. And Chief Wiggum's like, oh, over. I'm glad that's over. And then he just puts his feet up on the desk. <laughs> that chopper went fucking down, yo. There's not much going on. Oh. Oh, no. 
What are these? Uh... Oh! Ooh, on it. Oh, it's the moving still. What's that noise, oh, y'all? Mm -mm. <laughs> Seems to have like pustules on it. And that. That's alive, whatever that is. Let's just go ahead and give that a oh. wide berth. It didn't even wide berth. You literally walk right up. It's as wide as the game would allow me. Wait, why can't I see my thingy? <laughs> what? Oh, I gotta zoom out. Oh, so we gotta go this way, I think. La, 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 la. This way. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. I gotta go down yon. Oh, there's definitely a bluish hue. Dude, like, we're coming up on it, though. Definitely. I feel like the torch is a bad idea, Ooh. you know? I don't know how to turn it off. Fuck footprints behind me. We hear footprints? Footsteps. This is straight up a UFO. I could no chill. Oi! It's kind of like the aliens sometimes. Boy, oh, 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 oh. Thank you, Rock. It's the best thing the Rock's ever done. Oh. Race to Witch Mountain wasn't bad, though. Why is it red? Why is it red? Why? I don't feel like it's safe. Oh! Yeah. What? Look on the thing! They're all ew. surrounding me! No, ew. Why quickly? Holy fuck! <laughs> Oh! What a... This has prologue. That made me jump, yo. Didn't scare me at all. You liar. How dare you. In the full game, you will learn how the events of the prologue are related to Grayswood Farm and the story of Taylor Fox at the Game to Your Wish list so you don't miss a discounted release. That's not a bad idea. Go to Steam. It's called They Are Here Alien Abduction. Let's have a look at the demo now. Because that prologue wasn't very long at all. Unexplained phenomena occur at Grayswood Farm on the night of August 7th. The Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction at a different speed. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make report for the local newspaper. And these are their stories. Oh. Dun -dun. Now, read that. Doesn't that sound eerily like signs? <laughs> yeah. I've seen that. I've moved. I've seen it. Titties. They're here. <laughs> Straight up just said titties. Who did? You. No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, it was just me. Talk to Farmer Pete and shit and whatnot. And what are we looking at the ground for? Well, I'm just pushing all the buttons to see if I can like, pull out a torch or a flashlight, as you Yankee doodle landies would call it. Oh! Hello, moon. What's not a moon? Hello, three moon.
P. Sherman. 42 Wallaby Way, is it? 42? Yeah, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. Why? You walked like five steps. I, oi, I, I wasn't... Legit. Either emphysema or hit a treadmill from time to time. I'm telling you, he's onset COPD, this motherfucker. He's like... And he's... Why is he out there investigating? The bitch can barely walk. Farmer's note. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment. But something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful. Peter Sherman. 42 one of the way, Sydney. The Shermanator. He keeps writing stuff down, but... The... For what? I can't do anything with it. Oh, that came up with a hand then. Nope. Ooh. Throw it. Throw it where? I don't think I can okay. actually throw it anywhere. It just puts oh. it back by default. Oh, what are the pictures? Flip it. What's that shadowy place? Everything the light touches. <laughs> Mm-hmm. This is signs. Mm -hmm. Yep, look, two kids, wife. She's about to get hit by a car when she's out for a walk. Or maybe she has. Give us a torch up in here. Pizza's gone, of course. Mystery sky object seen here in Orono. The milk has gone bad. Good. Nothing special. Can we look in the sink again? Pot? Yeah. The wife's definitely gone. <laughs> I never like, said that. I wouldn't have done any of that, so... Wow. Husband's probably still in the house. Doing fuck all. Maybe he's playing Red Dead Redemption 2 yet. Fuck do we know. It's pretty enthralling, you know, that game. Aw, oh, puppet. Buddy. I hope in the lives. photo, members of the Sherman family. Like, I don't care if the kid lives, but like, if, I hope the dog does. <laughs> Nothing special around these parts. P. Sherman's hat. Fuck, what is it with taking pictures of these motherfuckers' backs? <laughs> Ooh, can we take the pot plant? Can you not stand so, like, in the centre of the door when you open it? We cannot Just take the pot plant. Like you want to have something jump at your face and not care. Megan. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like this drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The paper is painted on both sides. Hey, how you doing? Fuck you, kid. Oh, he killed the dog. Motherfucker, what did I say? Well, shit. I didn't do it. Hey, wait. I want to read that, but... Bunny. We can take this. Here we go. Put it back. Put it back. <laughs> I can't manipulate it in any way, shape, or form. There's a baby monitor in signs. This is crazy similar. No. Uh, not with it all themselves. So. Oh, yeah. Another picture of a back. Cool, cool. Good. Walking through the cornfields, signs. Yep. Light that candle. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise when I came in. She wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Wow. Still fucking closed on its own. It's double hinge, son of a bitch, too, is it? Oh, no. Ah, oh, here we go. Can we take that pop, please? Oh. Nice pair of shoes. This guy's been researching them. Look. Oh, from the photo, a photo from the internet. Perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. Fuck me. Look how creepy that looks. You know, I think that's a real, actual photo from that was taken from the catacombs. 
for real. Look that up. Ugh. He's a Some freaky, more. yo. <coughs> what, what are you laughing for? <laughs> Nothing. What are you laughing for? Is that in a jar? Yup. You need to stop laughing. I'm not laughing. <laughs> Farmer's Children's Diary. Sticker. Found my old diary when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? The diary text reads, Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier in the river. Suddenly, I was defended by a roar. Or deafened. Defended. Fucking hell. Deafened by a roar coming from behind. Of course it was, because everything in these is just, you know, pictures of backs and whatnot. Nothing ever happens in front behind. of these people. Oh. I turned oh. around, very low above the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights. All windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with grey skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. The one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in that evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing. And I walked mm -hmm. home as if I was in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What is that? I'm scared to sleep. Well, maybe you should read his diary. That'd help. Prompts should, you know. Oh. Hi, yo! Hey, girl, my mom! Flashing. Bye. Oh. Oh. I don't like it. Take the hot plane. Take the hot plane. I can't. I can't. It's hot like that. Be, a, be the plant. Be the plant. Now I got a fucking flashlight. Really? Be the plant. Be the plant. Yep. Don't stare at the plant with your back to the goddamn thing. That's how this thing gets you. Oh, yeah. Shut the door. Why are we looking through that? I don't want to be a part of this anymore. Nope. Nope. Shut the door. Shut the, do shut the door. Shut the door. Now we know when they come in because they've got to open. Oh, yeah, nah, cool. Let them know exactly where we are. Now, you're right, because we can see shit through those windows if you flash the light directly <laughs> out of them. Turn the light off! So, just so they know for sure where we there. are. Yeah, we know that there's one in the house because we heard it. Can we actually can stand you... in here? Oh, Pull the door. You spend like 99% of the time playing games, mm -hmm. either in lockers or cupboards or under beds. Agreed. And this feels totally unnecessary right now. Oh, we just got to go and face our fears. <sighs> Was there anything on that desk? Because we didn't finish actually looking at all that shit. I've learned a lot about these things. They're called the greys. These are not little green men, but big, creepy and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, grey skin, long thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed, severe headaches and a buzz in their ears. And animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. For example, in the middle of a field or on a road a few kilometres away from home. 
Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens established control over their minds, and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body, incisions to be exact, during palpation. What's palpation? During palpation, Isn't it that felt when you like. like pumps? Mm, sure, we'll go with that. I mean, I, I don't know. It felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under my skin. Pal I mean, maybe it's meant to be palpitation. But it says palpation. But I'm not even sure what that means. Don't worry, we'll get the meaning for you. It's what we do. Power's out. I'm just gonna have to suck it up. Palpation is the process of using one's to check the body, especially while leaving diagnosing a disease or anything. Probably pretty accurate because it's straight from Wikipedia. But it also says the same thing in the government. Fucking face our fears seriously. I'm I'm shitting bricks here. It's fine. Just go out. No problem. Go. Be run. You watch that plane on my car tear down before. Nah, I don't have enough time. Fine. take any of the plants. I need you to just understand this. What are we watching? Like oh god, there's going to be one behind me, isn't there? Just in case. Oh, because it's, it's going to change if they're there or not. How much of this do we have to watch? I don't know, man. Can you watch it from like an angle so you can sort of see me see what's going on behind us and watch it or? Okay. Is it uh, now I don't know maybe or from the Oh, this is scary. It's like really, it's got me on on, on edge. You know, because I just don't know. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for the recurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple: abduction. I only remember the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ear were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. You decided I would get what? It. What is it? Oh. Oh, I cut it out. I'll take that transmitter. Oh. <laughs> I 
know, that was just... I just ran in a circle. I just fucking went rogue for a second. going to say because people should watch that as well. But, yeah, there's more. Oh, okay, give um. <laughs> Holy fuck, Knuckle! I don't know if this is the right way to be going towards the light. Run to the car. Shift, shift, shift. I'm running. Shift. I'm running! Oh! Someone just fucking lost their clothes there! This is the slowest running ever. Lock the door. Just lock them. Oh, they're aliens. They probably can't get in. Oh! Yeah. No, cool. You know what it'll be too? We probably just get it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a car. Yeah, there's a car. I don't think I can. That's not distorting in your ear. That, that's not super loud, people. That's distortion that's even when it's down low in this game, just so you know. Huh. Oh! No. <gasps> Oi! Oi! <laughs> you fucker! Oh my god, I made the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. He just grabbed me. Holy That's hell. That That's the demo. <sighs> oh, in the full game, you'll find the large territory of Grayswood Farm and a full story of an alien abduction at the game. To your wish list, so you don't miss out on the discounted release. If you want to know what it's called, people, they are here. You can play it yourself if you want to have a go of the demo and the prologue. It's on Steam. It's also on Itch.io. Both of those have them. Um, Steam obviously requires a Steam account. Itch.io, you can actually just download the executable. It's about 2.7 gig. So it's not too bad at all. But that that had me on edge. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It was all right. I wasn't even scared. <laughs> What? Your buns are on fire. Um, I like games that don't give away too much and that keep me on edge and only flash little bits to scare me because then the whole time I'm on edge waiting for that next little scare. I like games that make me want to keep playing and that one definitely did. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what do you give it? The demo, what do you give it out of five? Oh. How many alien heads do you give it out of five? Um. Probably like three and a half, but Agreed. like, why not let me be able to pick up the plants, you know? So four I, if you could pick I, up the plants. If I could pick up the plants and put them in my boot on my way out. Well, I suggest that you send your uh, suggestions to theyareheregame at gmail.com in the bottom right hand corner there because it says so. Let me pick um, up the plants. We'll send yeah, it. I mean, let me pick up the plants firstly. And secondly, like, I just don't know if we need to have that. That that amount of reading. Um, I wonder if in the it. yeah, I wonder if in the full game. Um, I, my, one of my suggestions would be when you pick up a letter that's that long, let the character read it out loud. Yeah. If the character reads it out loud, then you don't feel obligated to read it. Um, like I mean, it's fine if you've got things you've got to read that are long at like the start and every now and then. But having something that's super long every single time you come across something, that's yeah, because. Oh, I agree. The, the entire story is driven by you reading that. If 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 I went and explored the entire farmhouse there like I did, but didn't read a single thing, mm. we wouldn't know what the fuck was going on. Or but like, you're gonna make me stand there and read something for half an hour, try and build up the suspense a little more with a bit more noise or something. And also, um, I think these kind of games make you read it before the story um, progresses. Mm -hmm. So the, the next door doesn't open until you read this or until you watch that or until you do this. Yeah. So I agree. Three and a half alien heads. 
out of five. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hey, there's a ton more video here, uh, videos here on Chaos Evolved. Uh, a lot of them uh, super funny, super fun. A lot of good series as well. So why don't you check those out? As usual, okay, it's a pleasure. I wouldn't say it's a pleasure. No. What? Why not? Well, I've had pleasure. I just don't know that that's it. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm leaving that in the end of the video now.